The stunning, ever-changing leaves of autumn and fall are finally here, bringing about a beautiful transition, not only within nature, but within my soul. Fall is often a time of much celebration, but also a time of deep contemplation. As I move forward into the month of October, I've been feeling a little burned out, and so I've chosen to turn to unconditionally loving nature to caress me and take care of my heart. Earlier in the week, I helped my lovely mother with some gardening and did some planting. I was taken aback by just how therapeutic this felt and how nourishing it was for my body and my soul. It is said that we should take time to nourish ourselves. But remember, nourishment doesn't just happen through eating. We also eat with many of our senses, including our eyes with delicious sights, our noses with comforting scents, and with our hands through reassuring touch. If you've been feeling lost, depleted, and a little defeated, well, you're not alone. I hope this week's love letter will provide you with some sweet nourishment. Dear beautiful soul, Good morning. I hope this letter finds you well. I want you to know, if you are going through hard times and the world seems bleak, I've got you. You're not alone, ever. Remember, we have been here before and we will get through it again, together. I want you to take a deep breath and know this. My friend, you are a lioness. You were born to win, to fight, and to shine so brightly. You have a never-ending light I see deep within you. And no matter what fight or battle you face, you will get through it. You just need to believe in yourself and know that your time will come. It may seem now as though success is far away and your dreams are out of reach, but they are closer than you think. Along the way, If anyone shall place doubt in your mind, I encourage you strongly, don't listen, because it is far more easier to criticize others than to achieve for the ones who simply just don't try. So, To all my dreamers, my beautiful believers, keep working hard because your fruits of your labor will pay off and you will be back in no time, except with a smile of a brave warrior, a queen or a king who conquered her fears and showed them how it's all done. I leave you with this. Whatever you do, do it with love, won't you? Love and light, Sangeeta.
Hi guys, it's your girl here, Sangeeta. Thank you so much for checking out my YouTube channel here and it means a lot. I hope that my love letter this week really, you know, in a way helps your soul start a journey towards just feeling more whole and a little bit better every day. I really hope that my letter brought you a lot of comfort and love. I hope you felt it. So lately, I've been falling absolutely in love with folklore and fairy tales and all the magic that comes with it. And I think back to when I was a little girl and I would always go back to reading Cinderella. I remember that we had this beautiful bookshelf in our house growing up and I, I grew up in England and I would always return to that bookshelf, our childhood home, and I would pick up that book and just get lost in this fairy tale land. And growing up I loved Beauty and the Beast, still do. I loved, you know, Aladdin. I've always felt a connection to Princess Jasmine. I think she's uh, probably one of the first Disney characters that I really connected to. And as a grown woman now, I think, and you can hear beautiful nature around me. It's beautiful fall time, so I'm in my fall clothes at the moment, um, wearing yellow, you know, channeling my inner bell, if you like. But I think my attraction to folklore and fairy tales and books as well, in general, it's that you can escape into another world. You can experience something through someone's incredible writing. And you know they're a good writer if they can transport you through words to another time and place. I think it's also such a wonderful therapy for your soul. It's so nourishing because as they say, we don't only nourish our body with food. We nourish ourselves with what we feed our mind, with what we feed our vision and what we absolutely feed our soul. So I love the fact that through folklore and fairy tales and when you go back and study the history of them which I'll definitely come back with a special video about that um, if you guys are interested let me know in the comments but you know I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> um, do what you love right so um, there's like a bee around me but getting back into it as to what I was saying is that the amazing thing about fairy tales and folklore, not only have these beautiful stories been passed down from generation to generation in order to share customs and tradition and lessons and culture and also a lot of magic, but as grown adults, as women, and I, I speak to women because obviously I am one, so I can speak to that more strongly. As much as I love the princess falling in love and finding her Prince Charming, which is a beautiful story, it's absolutely romantic in every way, and I love romanticism, but I think the most amazing, powerful thing is that we as women can change the narrative in our own stories. We as writers can change the narrative. We can learn so much from fairy tales and folklore and we can create powerful female characters and even male characters as well that support these powerful women and you know no longer the damsel in distress. There, there's no damsel in distress here right? It's about remembering that you can create your own fairy tale. You have the power to do that if you're brave enough.
I remember as a child falling in love with this one story, this, this one book by an author called Kay Umansky. Kay Umansky is incredible and she wrote a book called Pong Wifi and the Spell of the Air and it absolutely changed my life. I fell in love with books ever since and my mom took me to this bookstore called Otakas in England and um, I now live in Canada by the way but it just opened up so many new doors to a whole new world of imagination for me and I'm so so thankful to my teacher at that time I'm gonna call her Miss Mrs. TC, you know who you are if you're watching, if you happen to find this by some miracle. Uh, Miss TC, thank you so much for reading Pong Wifi and the Spell of the Year at the end of the day in school. I must have been about, I was 10 years old and it changed my life. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mama. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to come back and share some more with you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe. If you want to join my love letters and receive a love letter from me every Monday, you can do so by going to bit.ly.com slash 365 reasons to wake up and you will join my 365 reasons to wake up everyday movement. It's encouraging peace and wellness from the minute you get up and encouraging you to look at the positives in every day and the beauty that surrounds us and to get out of bed in the morning and make the best of it of what we have all right i will leave you with love and light bye for now